How close are we to curing cancer? I think, uh, you know, it's really exciting. I mean, today, being in pharmace the pharmaceutical industry is, I mean, I've been in this industry uh, quite some time now, and it's suddenly one of the most exciting times I can remember because science is breaking out in oncology in particular, but also outside of oncology. And there's a lot of new medicines that are coming to, uh, to, 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 to that are offered to patients. Uh, that's one aspect of, of cancer. But the other aspect is we're now close enough to be able to diagnose easily cancer very early on. And the earlier you, you diagnose patient, uh, the, the cancer, the better uh, chance you have to cure the patient. Um, and so I think we are, we, are, we are within striking distance of curing some cancers or actually improving survival rates to 90% and above. There are now tests that are being developed that would enable to, to diagnose cancer at a very early stage. Say lung cancer, if you diagnose it early mm -hmm. and you treat it well, your probability of being alive five years later is 90%. Wow, that's uh, incredible progress. Yeah. Now, one of the other exciting parts of the pharmaceutical field and the, the innovation that's happening is around gene therapy. And it's being used, in, hopefully, to treat super rare diseases uh, that we've never been able to treat before. Where could you see this technology going? And what are AstraZeneca's ambitions when it comes to gene therapy? We, we have uh, selected a number of technologies that uh, we are investing in. Gene therapy is not one of those. Not because uh, we don't believe in it, uh, not because it has no place, it certainly has a great place, but we can't be everywhere. So we are involved in um, antibody drug conjugates, for instance, in cancer. We are looking at uh, cell therapy, mm -hmm. both in cancer and outside of cancer. We're looking at uh, cell therapy, for instance, to rejuvenate the heart or the kidney. Um, but we are not, uh, we're not investing in, uh, in gene therapy, but suddenly I can see gene therapy make a big difference in the near term to more limited, more targeted diseases that are smaller orphan type diseases, but over time it can suddenly expand. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.